What's up guys, WWE Stage Creator back in with another video today. I'll be giving you my review of Elimination Chamber 2020. So going into this show, I thought it was going to suck. The card was thrown together, there was no real big matches, but surprise, surprise, this show was actually really good. I really enjoyed this show. There was a lot that actually happened. And yeah, let's get into it with the first match. I'm not going to talk about the kickoff. I didn't watch it, but... The first match on the show was Daniel Bryan versus Drew Gulak. And Gulak in a pay-per-view match, that was really cool. I believe he was from Philadelphia where the show was held. By the way, that crowd was very dull. They, If they were a bit louder, they could have made the show way better. But this match to start off was really, really good. I thought they'd start off with a chamber match, but this was the perfect way to start off. And Daniel Bryan and Gulak had a really good match. The storytelling in the match was really, really cool. Gulak, basically the story there was he was studying Daniel Bryan, find all his weaknesses and exploit them. And it was really, really good. There was one point in the match where Daniel Bryan got dumped on his head and I thought Daniel was really hurt. That looked awesome. But Daniel came out with the win and he actually made Gulak pass out to the label lock. And that was really, really cool. Gulak was made a star by Daniel Bryan here tonight. And yeah, he passed out. He didn't tap out. That was really, really cool. Daniel Bryan showing his respect after the match. That was really, really nice. I wonder if Gulak will be shown on TV after this. We'll have to wait and see. I need to get a Gulak figure now. But yeah, next match we had was the United States Championship. And we've seen this match a thousand times. Andrade versus Humberto Carrillo. And this was the blow-off match. This surely is the last match. And again, they're trying to protect Humberto by beating him with a roll-up pin. And they did this at Royal Rumble as well. Like, seriously, can't he just beat him clean? But whatever, Humberto, he's decent. I don't know, I can't really fully get behind him, but he's he's decent. And Andrade, I really love Andrade. I hope they do either a ladder match at WrestleMania for the United States Championship, or Alistair Black versus Andrade. That would be really, really cool. Then we come to the match of the night, the Tag Team Championship Elimination Chamber for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. What a match this was, this spot in the match. Lindsay Dorado did a shooting star press from the top of the Elimination Chamber onto everybody. This match was incredible. One of the best Elimination Chamber matches I have seen in so long. This should have main evented. And honestly, this match is and would have been better than a six-man Elimination Chamber match for the number one contendership for the Universal Championship at WrestleMania. This match was killer. There was so much good stuff in this match. That shooting star press, Otis slamming through the pod and outside of the ring, which was really awesome. Definitely setting up for Dolph Ziggler, Otis at WrestleMania, I reckon. And then Miz and Morrison, which I didn't do predictions for the show, but in my head I did predict Miz and Morrison to win, and they did, and they'll go into WrestleMania as champions. I don't know what they're going to do for the SmackDown Tag Team titles of WrestleMania. Probably like a Fatal 4-Way Tag Match. Hopefully like a TLC or Ladder Match, which would be really, really cool. I think that would be a really good addition to the WrestleMania card. But hands down, best match of the night. If you haven't already seen it, go check it out. It was really, really awesome. Next match we had was Alistair Black versus AJ Styles. And this match wasn't as good as I thought it would be. It was a bit boring. The match story was AJ was working on Alistair Black's leg so he couldn't hit the Black Mass. And it was good selling and all that, but I thought it'd be a lot more, you know, good wrestling that we like to see from both men. But in the end, the OC came in to beat up Alistair Black and then the lights go out. Undertaker enters the ring and takes out all the OC. Black Master AJ Styles. Alistair Black wins the match and I also predicted that in my head too. I thought something Undertaker would do some sort of distraction Alistair Black would win and I'm really glad that Alistair Black won this match I am a huge fan of Alistair Black Alistair Black my favorite on Raw right now and I really hope that he wins the United States Championship of Wrestlemania but yeah for sure this match is set up for Wrestlemania and it should be a good one then we get to the Raw Tag Team Championships the Street Profits retained against Murphy and Rollins due to Kevin Owens coming out and distracting Seth Rollins. And then he hit a stunner after the match. So it looks like we're going to have Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. I hope in some sort of like hardcore stipulation or something along the lines to make the match a bit more interesting. But yeah, 
good storyline so far. Let's see where it goes. Next match we had was the three-on-one handicap match against Braun Strowman. These three versus Braun Strowman for the Intercontinental Championship. I need that brand new Intercontinental Championship. But going into it, these guys, like surely three guys could beat one man, but they were going up against Braun Strowman. But in the end, the unlikeliest person won the match, and it was Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn finally wins a singles championship here in the WWE. What a shocker, and what a great story, too. At the end, Braun Strowman was yelling at him, and oh man, this is going to be this is gonna be really, really cool. I could see Braun winning it back straight away, but I wonder what they're going to do at WrestleMania. Sami Zayn, one of the best talkers in WWE, such a good heel. I love that he became champion, and yeah, this is going to be some interesting TV. Then we get to the end with the Women's Elimination Chamber match, and yeah, this show was good, it was pretty damn good, and then this finish happened, and man, this Women's Elimination Chamber could not follow the Men's Tag Team Elimination Chamber. Seriously, this was lackluster, and I get why it main evented, it had the most importance on the show, I understand that, but... Seriously, I'm sick of women's main events. You probably heard me say that, but the women just cannot deliver like the men. I'm sorry, I'm all for equality and whatever, but the women, if they can't match or do better than what the men are doing, then they don't deserve the main event. And this definitely did not deserve to main event. And I understand why it was booked this way to make Shayna Baszler look like a star, but the, the women's roster and the lineup for the Elimination Chamber was really not that stacked. It was so obvious that she was gonna win and she destroyed everyone. And yeah, it was all right, but could have been, like you could have made it way more entertaining. I could have done so much better if I had the control of it. But yeah, Shayna Baszler wins, gonna verse Becky Lynch at WrestleMania. It's whatever, kind of a lackluster ending to an otherwise very good show. So yeah, comment down below what you thought of this show. A lot of interesting stuff happened. We are on the road to WrestleMania. We got a lot of WrestleMania prediction figure matches coming. Also, WSC Hardcore Championship as always. Tune in for that. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Comment down below your thoughts on this show. Like this video, and I will see you guys on the next video.